Busy, busy. Way to go, Kimmy, way to go. So. How dare you love your kids? <laughs> no, I'm the worst mom <laughs> ever. Good morning, friends. All right, so I made the bed and I emptied the dishwasher and just did some homeschool with Shaylee. So we just did some math. Um, she has to be home until October 1st because she, well, you get to go back October 2nd because she may have been exposed by someone. So we are doing school online. She just did her math problems, so she's taking a little break, and then we will um, get on science. She read while we ate breakfast, while I was cooking it, so she she did her reading for today. This is a good practice run because Shaylee is our nine-year-old, and she's the caboose of the family. She's the, the youngest, and it has really been on our heart lately, and we've been praying about homeschooling Shaylee and not the like not the school curriculum stuff that they're doing like homeschool and uh, I already know what I want to do we've been researching and um, there's a homeschool group in our neighborhood they get together every so often um, but I already know the curriculum that I want to do I've been looking into it and I want to do the good and the beautiful I'm still looking at their math, but I've been really researching and studying. So this is a good practice run for us, um, trying to, because I was trying to think, how could I do this, you know, if we did decide to homeschool her, and it's like, I thought, okay, I will, we will do homeschool in the morning and be done by noon, noon 30, and then I can do my work, and, um, and then she will be done and get her chores done and be done in time for when all of her friends get home from school and she can um, play and stuff. So this is a good test run because I got on my knees the other night and just said, I need to know if this is what we should be doing. Yeah, and just talking with her teacher, asking her some questions about Shaylee in class, it's just kind of reconfirming, you know, that homeschool thought that I have. As annoying it is that she's home because of COVID, I think Heavenly Father is giving me this little window to really know if this is what to do. I do have a little anxiety today, but I, but from everything that I've learned from researching on homeschooling and watching a lot of videos and just diving in and really researching, everyone says that not to look at homeschool like a public school classroom. That you have to like get that way of teaching and doing things out of your psyche. Um, it's it's not that at all. So I'm, I was like, that's a good piece of advice, a good piece of advice. So anyway, that's what we're, I'm doing right now. Um, it's, gosh, it's quarter to 11. So she's almost done with her break and then we'll hop onto science. Um, it's good to take breaks with your kids even when like there's a big project like cleaning their room, we take it in chunks and they get a break and then go back because some kids need that or they just can't focus. So this helps her to refocus and be able to get to work. And so, yeah, all right. So I just wanted to let you know what's going on. Let me share with you, yesterday I was, I had my monthly massage and I was down in the area where that awesome farmer's market is that I shared with you on how to freeze summer vegetables. If you haven't seen that video, the link is below or the eye in the sky. So I was back down there and I went to one of my favorite markets there and I went to the farmer's market. So check out what I got. Okay, here is the grocery haul for this week. Um, I have, I went to a market um, down in my old town and I went to the farmer's market. So this is the grocery store, this is the grocery store and this is the farmer's market. 
So let's do the grocery store first. So I needed more garlic powder and I did buy a smaller can of it um, at another store last week, but I go through garlic powder so fast that I grabbed this there. And then, ah, look what I got. Alfredo, it's been hard to get lately. So I grabbed two. And yes, this is a load of clams, a lot of clams. But this is for a meal that we are having um, next weekend for my birthday. And then I, there was a sale on clams. They were a dollar seventy nine, and that's cheap right now. They have gone up in price. So it takes eight clams because I doubled my recipe with my family. So this is one meal, and then I did, I got enough for three more clam chowders down the road. I grabbed some fajita seasoning, four packets of that. I was completely out. I was completely out of the um, aju seasoning, the gravy. Uh, I'm going to be using one tomorrow because I'm going to be making the French dip sandwiches. And then the ranch buttermilk dressings. I grabbed six of them. This is for the Jana's roast that I love having. You can use the regular ranch packets um, or ranch um, seasoning. I have a big bottle of regular ranch seasoning, but I like the buttermilk in it, so I grabbed that. These are my favorite tortilla chips. I can't, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, but it's that. And if you have these in your store, try them. These are my favorite. So we are going to be having um, taco soup and Navajo tacos on the menu, and we're always eating tortilla chips. These are my favorite. Grab some Lay's potato chips because Lay's are freaking yummy and amazing. And then they had pasta on sale for 70 something cents for each of them. So I grabbed two linguinis and two rigatonis to have on hand. Um, two red, uh, yeah, two purple onions or red onions. Purple? What do I call them? Purple? Not red. Purple onions? I'm having a brain fart. And then some bananas. We've been going through a lot lately with our smoothies. Some more celery. And then the sweet and sour sauce. Um, I used two for one recipe. I bought some frozen meatballs not too long ago so we can have our sweet and sour meatball recipe. And then ice drinks were on sale for like eight something for this whole package. So that makes them super cheap because in the store normally they are a dollar each. So I saved a lot on there. So I got two packages. Those will go in the refrigerator. And then I grabbed some um, beer. I grabbed the Samuel Adams Boston Lager. I don't know if this is any better than the dark lager I usually get, but I couldn't find the brand I usually get. I like to grab a six pack because this, um, like I only need one bottle for my beef stew and one bottle for the French dip sandwiches that I do in the Instant Pot. Both links to those recipes are down below. So this will give me six meals here um, and I have beef stew meat and that is on the menu. So this will stay in the back of the refrigerator. Um, and then, so that was the market. And then I went to the farmer's market that I took you guys along with before. This is a banana squash, but I'm going to section this off and I'm gonna freeze some of it. And then I have um, peaches. I didn't wanna buy a whole box. I wasn't ready for that. And a whole box was like $30. So I grabbed a basket of them. So we have some yummy peaches to have. And I could also freeze these too, but I don't think they're gonna make it. And then pe um, pears, so peaches and pears. Yum. My kids love pears, but uh, my oldest son really loves pears. Then I grabbed a dozen and a half of corn. Uh, I wanna freeze up just a little bit more. I am taking advantage of all this yummy corn right now to have in my freezer for all winter long to enjoy. So if you wanna see how I freeze that, click on the link in the eye in the sky or down below on um, freezing those. So this was my, my grocery haul for the week. We're learning about the Venus flytrap. Yeah. It's the pretty, Venus it's pretty trap. cool, huh? Like the sun do. Those must be those nerve things, remember, like when a fly touches insect. it? Watch what out. happens when they touch them? They get sucked. Yeah, it closes shut when they touch those little hairs, huh? Um, if we touch the, the things inside, it might close on our finger, but we could open it. Yeah. It was very disturbing. We're like, ew. <laughs> but it's cool, huh? 
<laughs> it's very cool learning that. So we're almost done with school. It is 12, almost 12.30. We just got a couple of more math things to do and we're done for the day. So what I'm gonna do right now is work on the corn that I got from the farmer's market. This corn is so yummy, we really enjoyed it. So what I'm gonna do is the same thing I did in that video. Um, if you didn't see it, click on it. What I'm gonna do is peel back just a few of these husks and then I'm going to cut here and just cut the tip a little and then cut it right down the middle and then I'll freeze them in their husks like that. So we'll use our food saver machine to suck up all the air out. Okay, so we'll mark the bags and we'll do this. Excellent, got my garbage. Um, I'm trying not to let my anxiety get the better of me right now. I'm just anxious of like, I guess I'm doubting myself. Like, can I do this? Could, can I homeschool her? And um, it's just, you know, I've got, I've set myself up well, like with my routines and everything that's in place, right? And I just, I, I have a problem of just going with the flow. Um, and so I have some anxiety today and I'm trying to push it away. But it's gonna take time to get into that flow. I just, <laughs> maybe I'm just doubting myself. You know what I mean? Like, can I do this? I, I guess I'm just stressing trying to figure out how am I gonna do this with filming and everything. And I was talking to one of my other good friends who's a homeschool mama and she does YouTube and she has a big channel and she does so good. I talked to two of my YouTube mom friends this past week. One, she's hands-on with the kids during the day and then in the afternoon when they're done, she starts filming and editing. And I know that's gonna be what I'm gonna have to do in the afternoon, like right, like right now with us being pretty much done, um, start filming and then edit. And so it's just gonna take, you know, some, some time and some work. I'm just glad that I don't do videos five days a week anymore because whoo doggy that was a lot of work i am thankful that we were given this time but i think this is where routines that i have practiced for years come into practice come into play and i just gotta give myself grace right we have tutoring today boston my 13 year old gets braces today Busy, busy. Also, this is when all my freezer meal prep and cooking sure comes in handy when I'm busy with work and homeschool. I've got meals and things ready to, to go on the days that I can't cook fresh right then and there. So I have really have set myself up for success and I just gotta remember that. And so that is a blessing, being steps ahead in that regard. Way to go, Kimmy, way to go. You know how I share a lot of food storage um, videos and tips and things? Definitely invest in a food saver. It'll be your biggest investment tool with your food storage. Hands down, it'll be the best thing you can do. And just to keep, even if you don't do food storage, just to keep everything that you are purchasing to last longer, and um oh yeah i don't ever go oh i wish i never bought this machine <laughs> not once i've had different models in the past too because i work them so hard but um i'm just so thankful for them okay i got four packages some have more than others which usually goes in a meal you know sometimes people want two so I'm gonna get these in the freezer, but let me share with you what I did to some avocados. So I did the same thing to my avocados, but I actually did these, I split them in half, and then I laid them down on a cookie sheet and then put them in the freezer. And then once they were hard, I food savored them up. 
So they look a little squishy because um, when I was trying to get them out of their shell, they kind of broke up a bit. But then I froze them so they didn't mush up anymore. So we've got two packages of avocado. That's guacamole for us. Yum. All right, I'm just going to pick up the mess that I made from lunch and from doing the corn and Boston and I need to pick up Boston because we have tutoring so I need to make him a lunch. So I'm gonna get that going and then grab him. All right, got his lunch. He's got chips, a sandwich, a drink, some yogurt, and we're gonna hit the road. Okay, so they are now in there. We got here just a little bit early. Um, I have water. This isn't this adorable? I got this at Michael's. So cute. So I've got some ice water. All right, I already talked with her tutor, and she's fine with her coming in because. They're both, they're, she's got this huge shield in front of her, like this whole thing. And Shaylee's masked up. And she totally understands because her ninth grader is home with the same situation where her son was in the vicinity of somebody. So she's like, Ugh. so she's like, yeah, over it too. So she's like, nope, she can come in. And I'm like, fantastic. So she's in there. So I'm going to finish my makeup. I'm just doing light just light 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 makeup and uh, I just wanted to still put something on my face today so I felt normal and it is very soothing like self-care you know I find it very soothing and relaxing I'm excited for Boston to get his braces he's nervous but I was like Boston it's better to get them while you're in junior high than high school and I forgot my blue beauty blender that's fantastic well looks like I'm going old school so when I get home I got enough time to make dinner and then head out to the ortho I'm putting up the Halloween house tour on my birthday which is Sunday October 4th so look for that I'm doing a giveaway for four of you and yeah so that's exciting this was not the day in the life that I had planned the beginning of the week for you guys. But this is my life right now. And I like sharing with you how I'm navigating it and figuring it out and, and thinking out loud how I'm gonna do this. I think it's just all in here and fear and fear, could it just takes over. It can alter your decisions, alter your paths and and I don't want fear to alter this one because I know I'm capable of teaching my child. 
it just seems so overwhelming which I'm sure it is but I think I'm just putting too much thought and way too much fear into it I know I'm capable and so it's just it's a big step it's a big step all right I'm gonna sit here and veg out and zone out and enjoy this time because then we're, we've got dinner and then we've got uh, tonight an ortho appointment so Let's fast forward, let's go home and let's make dinner. So for dinner tonight, I'm having this marinated Italian chicken. This was a freezer meal and I did share this with you. I'll leave the video down below. So it thawed out for a few days in the refrigerator and nice and marinated. So I'm gonna get this on the grill. The grill's already heated up. I have skin on thighs and drumsticks and I just used a bottle of like zesty, I think, Italian um, dressing and, that, and I just froze it like this. And now it's all thawed out, so let's get this on the grill. All right, I'm just checking on these. I want to cook them slow because of the bone and the dark meat, so I don't want big flames on them yet. So I'm just checking up on them. Okay, nice and slow. Okay, I put my corn in the uh, Instapot. I'm doing two minutes on high pressure. I probably have a little over two-thirds cup of water in there so it's nice crisp corn so I'm doing two minutes if it was lesser of a crispier corn just kind of limp I would do one minute oh would you look at that oh it's so juicy so I'm going to cover this while the rest of the stuff is being prepared okay I've got corn one side has old bay and the other side has this this chili lime seasoning Here's my chicken thighs and salad, and that is tonight's dinner. Okay, now that that's done, we're heading out to get braces put on. Oh. <laughs> uh, braces. Are you excited? Uh, kind of. I'm excited. It'll kind of help me with other stuff, like teeth-wise. You're going to be gorgeous. Limits my eating, too. Yes, it does limit your eating. I, I, I apologize. All right, so I've just been online doing some more research, looking up some more curriculums. Um, I'm really interested in the, um, what was, what was it called? That is thunder, lady. Can you hear that wind? It's coming. You can hear it come from the, chimney thing over here my tombstone broke in half what about the pumpkins the wind is so bad right now oh your, your cement one too uh, all right it is windy where we live now it's it's windy and i just can't have outside decorations I just downloaded a free version of teaching textbooks and I have to say for math I really like this so far um, with how it's graded and how you could see her progress um, tests and things I I might make this our math curriculum for her instead of the good and the beautiful's math curriculum that's what I'm thinking so just looking at it, discussing it with, with Derek. So I'm gonna have Derek jump in this conversation with us. Hi. <laughs> so I was looking at your comments on an Instagram post that I put today, and I really wanna thank you for your comments. And, and the comments were, you guys were worried about my anxiety and my stress, and like, I appreciate that because it, it, things get stressful like summer vacations not my favorite but times have changed behaviors with children have changed and that would get my anxiety up so yeah you're doing pretty dang good I know I think I'm growing up <laughs> so our decision to homeschool it hasn't just been like oh that sounds like fun let's do it no we have thought about this since Callie and Jonah were little and we just 
didn't know where to go, how to do it. And then well, the thought, it wasn't it like was, a overpowering thought. It, no, we, we always thought about it. Yeah, the seed was planted, let's just say. But with certain concerns that we have with some of our children and their needs and behavioral things, it just wasn't the time. Like, I would have been on the news. <laughs> <laughs> just wasn't time but now is nice. a good time and I'd be homeschooling one child right now um, we are looking for future programs for Boston and Jonah does school a little differently right now and he is already ahead of his junior year he's in his junior year right now and he is already halfway through and it's the end of September. So we're proud of that boy. I forgot junior year. Holy crap, yeah. he's old. He's old. So he is already ahead in his junior year. He's doing school differently um, this year. So we're so proud of him. Um, yeah, he's, he's seeing the potential of an easy senior year and getting college classes in. So we're super proud of him. Um, so we did find a program for Boston. We still want to do a little more research, but right now we're starting off with Shaylee. Um, we've been really thinking and praying about this. Um, so I'd have to say that we really put more thought into it the first shutdown, when the first shutdown happened. And we were basically homeschooling them with the school, online school. <laughs> and so- well, we might as well just do it. I know. So I got a good feel for it. and. Once we got into the rhythm, it was great. Like we were done by one in the afternoon at the time, I think. And then yeah. anything we, I was stuck on with math for the kids, we waited till Derek was done with work. And so he would jump in for the things that, that I couldn't teach him. So we got into the rhythm and it, and it went really well. I mean, I mean, and it wasn't all sunshine and roses, but some things were harder to learn without the teacher and, and the help and stuff. Well, and the program just sort of stunk. Oh, it was horrible. Because it was like normal school, but online, but not really normal school. Yeah. With, and without all the help and stuff. Yeah, it was tough. So we, have, like I said, been strongly been thinking about it the last few weeks, been praying about it. Um, I got on my knees the other night and just said, I need to make a decision. I can't, you know, we can't just be always thinking about it and, and not jump yeah, on are it. Are we going to do it or not? Are we going to do it or not? So when we got the call yesterday from the school, I was like, oh wow, this I is guess it's time. <laughs> a little test, another little test. So, and I just kept thinking, gosh, you know, with, with the sickness that's going around, she could go back to school in another two weeks, have to be sent home because she was Someone around else. somebody else was, that was exposed. And she already lost a lot of learning in third grade because of the first shutdown. And we are playing catch up. We were playing catch up all summer with her, mm -hmm. trying to help her um, just with workbooks that we have, stuff online. And uh, she does better on one-on-one. -on -one. And she gets a lot of one-on-one -on -one at school because she does have an IEP. But then when she comes back into the classroom, she's behind. she's behind. And I was asking her teacher about this yesterday on the phone, and it was she said the same thing. So, you know, let's continue maybe just having her here and homeschool and give her that one-on-one -on -one attention and um, and get more outside help like tutoring and things like that. So I think Heavenly Father gave us our answer. <laughs> I think he gave it to us pretty loud and clear of, uh, your child can't come to school. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're, we're going to give this a, a, a shot with Shaylee and I think it's an answer to prayers. I'm going to have to work around my, my work schedule with it, which I was already doing when the shutdown happened, yeah. um, I had to work around his work schedule because that his was, office didn't have doors. But now we're in a better spot. So yes, work. he has his own office upstairs. So, and the last house, like, I had to wait to film 
or I had to do a lot of voiceovers, which I'm not a fan of because it takes longer to edit. So I had to work with the kids and then when they were done, which was early afternoon, mm -hmm. I'd start filming. If he wasn't on a conference call or a video call, I could talk out loud and do and the film. tutorials and yeah. film for you. But when he was in a meeting, we all had to be quiet. It's like all the time now. Yeah. And it was, so I got a glimpse of, of what it'd be like. So, um, good test run this morning with Shaylee. We were done uh, right before one and it went well. She has to take many breaks. Um, I did order during the shutdown some things to help her and we learned some really cool skills with Shaylee at, um, at some therapies that she goes to that I'm going to share with you guys. Things that we have to do, she has to take breaks often and, um, and I'll share that on another video maybe to help out some of you mamas and, and something that we put on her chair to help her with the wiggles. Mm -hmm. So I'll share that in another video with you but I just want you to know that we're not like, oh, that sounds like fun. We're going to homeschool. This has been in our thought process for a long time. A long time. <laughs> the seed yeah. has been planted since Jonah and Callie were little. <laughs> and, um, yeah. But more work, more effort, but mm -hmm. make sure our kids are getting what they need and mm -hmm. learning what we want to make sure they learn. Yeah, that's something that we learned. Each of our four kids are so different and they learn so differently so differently and um and this will be good i'm excited in a way like i'm <laughs> i'm excited that shaylee will get that one-on-one -on -one and be able to progress and yeah and some of those yeah. experiences being with them to do that yeah but it's gonna mm -hmm. be hard it will be hard <laughs> to gonna... change to lots of things yes so it'll be good and it's not like i'm pumping out a video five days a week anymore why not? Oh my gosh. Seriously, How why did not? I do that? How did I do that? You should be vlogging every day. Ooh, so, so yeah, it's going to be good. I It's just going to take a lot of trial and error, a lot of faith, a lot of prayer, a lot of organization and, and preparation. And preparation. So I would love from you guys, <laughs> we would love any advice that you have for us down below, any cur curriculum that you like. Um, I... I'm pretty sure I know what I'm going to be doing. The math yep. was the have biggest because the math, I'm like, yeah. So we have an idea where we're going to push the button sometime this now week. And we know it's all going to change once we get going and as mm -hmm. we start building and yeah, and probably doing some of our own things on top of yep. other things. Who That's knows? right. But. So any tips, tricks, curriculum, anything, any resources that you could lead us to, um, please leave them down below so and say a prayer for us because it's new and it's stressful and um but um i'm just excited to give her what she needs i don't like it when my kids struggle so oh, there she goes she's crying again so how dare you love your kids <laughs> No, I'm the worst mom ever. <laughs> hey friends, I know I ended the video, but I wanted to give you an update because um, I don't know when I'm going to be posting another day in the life. We pulled the trigger today on homeschooling Shaylee and we were just praying more last night and I talked with her teacher today and she answered a question that has been on my mind with Shaylee and it just reaffirmed. Um, homeschooling her and uh, her teacher is the sweetest she said uh, I, I'll still be in contact with her even though she'll be you know removed from the district basically um, she will still she said um, she'll do the writing with her like it's like a journal that you write back and forth to your teacher and so she could be connected with her in that way. I thought that was so sweet, it made me cry. <laughs> and she said that any help that I need or wanna know a good resource that she will help as well. So she was so sweet, she was so supportive. When I mentioned, um, we talked over the phone because I, I had a question about the online work and then I just told her what was happening. And I told her what we were doing and she said, I am so happy for you. For Shaylee, this will be 
so perfect for her. She was all on board with it. She goes, I am so glad that you're making this decision. I'm sad I'm losing her in class. She absolutely adores Shaylee, but she said, you're doing the best thing for her right now. So will I be homeschooling Shaylee until she's a senior in high school? No, probably not. But she does need some major catching up um, in some areas, not all areas, but some areas and by homeschooling her for maybe a couple of grade levels, maybe three, I think she'll be ready for junior high. So I just, I'm just so thankful for her teacher because it just reassured everything for us. So um, I just have to go to the district. Um, I'll, I'll either go by Friday, it's Wednesday right now, or I'll go next week. I just need to finalize all that with the district. I pressed the button on some curriculum from The Good and the Beautiful. That's on its way. It should be here quick because the warehouse is in my town. There was one. I can't remember now. My brain is like mush. Uh, I'll be ordering down the road for math and for English. But right now, I've got a, I'm have got. i really confident in the setup that we have going. Um, if you're interested in knowing what curriculum we got, I'll, I'll add it in a day in the life. Just put it down below. I know I haven't been sharing my children anymore with you guys, like not a whole lot. I'll say this is what they're up to, but I really felt I needed to share what we're going through with Shaylee and our decision making because there's so many parents right now thinking of the same thing. I've gotten so many messages and, and read so many of your comments that you were thinking of the same thing. And I wanted to share with you my thought process, my heart, what we're going through. And, and I know a lot of parents are making this decision right now. So I wanted to share this with you. Um, I feel so good about this decision. I am nervous as all get out. When I was on the phone with her teacher, I just broke down in tears because it was like, kind of like a weight was put on my shoulders, but yet taken off my shoulders on the decision making. And now I just have this weight of teaching. But you know what, I'm really excited about it. Heavenly Father has confidence in me. He's given me the answer. He's given Derek the answer. He has confidence in us as parents to be able to do this. And I'm only homeschooling one child right now. Could you imagine if I was doing more? But he gave me the answer and I know I'm not gonna be alone in this. And I am so thankful for her teacher that said, I will still be in contact with you. I thought that was so sweet because she doesn't have to. And my heart is full. There are neighbors that are in a homeschool community that I'm going to be talking with. I've been looking at things in our community. There is so much available. So I just encourage you to find something in your community as well. Check Facebook, see what your town has, talk to your school district. I'm excited to learn more from my school district um, when I talk with them and get it all finalized. But I did have a good cry today just as a relief. And will it be hard? Yes. But I am so freaking excited about it. Shaylee is an amazing kid. And I am so honored to be her mom. And I've always had inklings about her education from the time of kindergarten. And there was things that I wanted to do when she was in the first grade and second grade. But the school kept saying, no, no, she'll be fine. Don't. You know, I wanted to hold her back a grade and Derek felt the same way. We're like, ah, oh, she just needs a little more time here. But you know, they, they kept encouraging, no, she'll catch up, she'll catch up. <sighs> All I can say is, is as a parent, you have intuition with your children. You know them better than your teachers do. Act on it. If you feel that this would be better for your child, act on it or work with your teacher to figure out how to make it happen. I am so thankful for all of my children's teachers. They're amazing. They work so, so, so hard and through the years too. And I am so thankful for Shaylee's current teacher who has just been so supportive and amazing. Thank you teachers for all that you do because seriously, it's all all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I know it was a different style vlog, but this is going to, this is my life, and this is what's happening right now. And um, yeah, much more to come, but thank you for listening and, and letting me vent and sharing my heart with you, and thank you so much. You guys are awesome. All right, uh, I'm, I'm having dinner. We're having French dip sandwiches. Recipe is linked down below. Make them in your Instapot. Oh, so good. So we're going to eat 
and I'm going to bed. <laughs> I'm exhausted. So, all right, thank you for joining me. We'll see you soon, bye. Toodles.